Hello friends. So today Sheila and I are going to be making these beautiful lamb steaks with some potato fries, sweet potatoes. Now this lamb is very carefully sourced. It's GMO free. It's organic. If you're going to have meat in your diet, make sure that it's sourced correctly. Okay, that's really important. So Sheila, tell us what we're doing with this to prepare it. Well, um, took it out of the package. Some people say don't ever rinse meat. Some people say rinse meat. I believe that I can rinse off the meat and it's going to be okay because sometimes the packaging, even in organic or grass-fed meat, might be sprayed with something that causes plastic and things like that not to stick to the meat. So I, we don't want that on our, on our actual food. So I do rinse off the meat. And we're looking for meat. Um, it's great on lamb to have a little bit of fat, the fat swirls. It's very tender. Um, I use spike, which of course has its ground up vegetables and herbs and uh, it makes a wonderful flavoring for lamb. Today we're going to barbecue these. We're going to just put them on the grill. Uh, we'll make them medium well. Some people like the lamb very rare, but we're going to have them medium well today. And it'll make a very nice complement with the uh, fries that are actually now in the oven. And of course, it's just organic, uh, cut up uh, sweet potatoes, and with organic olive oil sprinkled on top, and a little bit of seasoning, and that's it. You put them in the oven for half an hour with, at 350. Makes a wonderful complement to anything. So, we are going to be putting this on the grill right about now. And we'll be back and show you what they look like when they're finished. Fire. Too hot. And the finished product. Bye bye, kitty. It looks delicious, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And the reason why we don't have one pound of meat on our plate is because, well, take the Japanese for example. They live a very long time. I think they have the longest life expectancy on planet Earth. They eat just slivers of meat and it's mostly rice and seaweed and, you know, produce, vegetables and, and rice and starch and things like that. Just a little bit of meat for flavor and so forth. So, pretty good model to follow after and the meat it's not just that it's a small quantity, but it's also very well sourced, very like I was well. talking about earlier. Yes. And look at this lovely, it looks... So this, this side is uh, medium well, and this side is medium rare, and some is a little rarer, but it's all good. And we've got maybe an ounce, ounce and a half, and that's pretty good. Maybe two ounces. There you go. Perfect. She has a pretty awesome website you should visit. It's called truelife-solutions.com. And I've got a website called fireyourboss.xyz, not.com. We've got many vegan cooking videos. This one obviously is not this vegan, is not vegan. <laughs> because some people cannot be healthy eating a pure vegan diet. And we are about helping people get healthy. So pick what works for you. And we're going to be here to support whatever works for you every step of the way. If you like this video, click the share button and share this video if you feel it's worthy. Bye everyone. Next video coming Bye. very soon. <laughs>